Hey guys, I'm Mr. Hair, and well, welcome to episode number two of the Atletico Madrid Corona people. And uh, first of all, you realize that why is this that come out yesterday? Uh, and the reason behind it is because I've realized a bit more than I could chew. And uploading daily two episodes is going to be difficult for me, so I've said that I'm going to now make it uh, one episode per every, I don't know, every day basically. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be West Brom, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday will be. Atletico and Sunday I'm not sure yet I think Sunday I might double upload or I might just not upload at all I'm still thinking about that we'll have to see once I get that I'll, I'll see what I'll do uh, but obviously right now I'm just gonna try and do this for a time being just to get myself into it and then hopefully maybe one day do double uploads because a stream is hard for me to do double upload and obviously stream as well it's very difficult it just makes it a lot more easier for me to do it this way uh, gives me makes it more easier for me if that makes sense so at least I can be consistent with uploads that's the plan so yeah, obviously, first of all, I want to thank you for the response we got for the first episode. We got, I think, we're currently around just under 100 views and around 21 likes. That's amazing. I appreciate the likes for that. Really do appreciate people. I hope you can do the same this time as well. I'm not going to lie to you. Yesterday, West Brom's episode has done terribly. West Brom has got maybe, I don't know, 6 likes or something like that, 5, 6 likes. And got 55 views. So people have been liking stream. Oh, video, sorry. See, stream. I'm so used to streaming, guys. I say stream is a video. But yeah. Um, so I really appreciate if you guys could drop a like on the video as well. Obviously, it'll be great for that one. Obviously, this one as well. Be sure to try and get it to, I don't know, 15 likes if we can. That'd be amazing if we could. Uh, but anyway, here is the game against Juve. We're in the same finals here in the preseason tournament, guys. And obviously, this is the first game where I actually use the constant pressure. Obviously, if you guys remember last episode against uh, El Shabab, we were knackered. And I thought, you know what, maybe it might be because uh, it's the sim day. Maybe that's why everyone's tied one. Maybe I'll give it a go. So maybe it'll be a bit better. But as you can see, uh, my team is still knackered from that game. Obviously, Koke obviously being the tonest, uh, the tightest from the, obviously the most tight story out of the whole group. But obviously, Kraska's tied as well. Everyone's tied already. Obviously, the footage is a bit laggy as well, guys. I do apologize because my, my PC is really bad to record footage. So, um, yeah, it's unable to process the information. I don't know why it is, and it lags for whatever reason. Obviously, it's not a... Um, what do you call it? It's not like an online game where internet will lag it. It's basically um, what do you call it? Um, it's being recorded to my PC directly, so I don't know why it's happening. But as you can see, you will put in pressure on us early in this game. You can see somehow we'll survive because of Lamar. Lamar doing amazingly there to stop two chances basically uh, in the one uh, one attack. So that's great. Anyway, so as you can see here, we're actually doing well. Look, we're already 30 minutes in, but the game has been action packed so far. The game we've had had a couple of attacks and whatnot, and they've had a couple of attacks as well, maybe more than that. To be honest, uh, but yeah, as I say, the lag is just so annoying here, man. I, I, I don't know. I do apologize, guys. But hopefully, once your boy can save up some funds, I will be able to uh, get a better PC, which will allow me to record and hopefully stream from my PC. Uh, right now, I can't record and stream from my PC right now because my PC isn't the best. So I do apologize for that. But anyway, here you can see here, Juve Ronaldo having a sh good chance and he's scoring as well. Uh, it was a bit annoying here because I said my players were tired. My players are really, really tired, and obviously it's a bit frustrating knowing that we were conceding. Because I knew that my planes, it's going to be difficult for me uh, later down the road for me to get back in. Obviously, Carrasco here has a shot. But obviously, I pressed L2 by mistake, forgetting that Aziz is a skill shot. <laughs> but somehow it still worked. And uh, we're back in the game. So it was great. Obviously, it was a bit funny how it happened. But we're here again, near the end of the first half here. Cost on the ball. Trying to find things that Lamar, but Lamar just scoffs it so hard and he wasted a chance. Now in the second half here, trying to make some plays here. Fears are getting past the defender here. Has a shot and he scores, making it 2-1 people. A great, great goal. Straight away, you know, straight away we came back in, we scored. Obviously, as you can see, if you look at face, how far oh, his fitness is so low. Look at him. Koke is basically running on fumes. And Costa here is having some sort of hope. And obviously, he has a shot there, but obviously still, the keeper saves it easily, easily. So, yeah, from what I could tell him this thing, constant pressure isn't the great plan to have um, in this game, in my opinion. Isn't the best of things. Obviously, which kind of led to them scoring against us because obviously our defenders were too tired to chase the players back. So obviously I said I got to make, make changes. I got to make changes. So I changed. I think I used all my subs. I think every single one I used that I could have said so many I can't bother to like, tell you who I bought on who I didn't bring on. But yeah, so I brought on a load of players on just to get, obviously bring some fresh uh, I don't know, energy into the pitch. But obviously still, Juve weren't being like generous. They were attacking, attacking. But anyway, obviously with that it was a draw in the end. And obviously we went to penalties here. So penalties, oh, I'm gonna see. I'm bad. I'm terrible. I'm really bad at penalties. So as you can see, that we're losing. She needs a save and nothing against um, Lamar's pen. See, apparently there's a way you could read it. I know there is, but I just, sometimes I just, I can't tell if they're looking left or right. I don't know why it's just me, but sometimes I can't just tell. Like there, see, like I couldn't tell. 
Uh, maybe just me or what? Uh, I mean, and they see my luck is bad. See that ass out. I beat the keeper there, but <laughs> I didn't beat the goal. Neither did, to be honest. But if you can see here, we had, uh, we scored the obviously giving us a chance there, luckily. And obviously, I uh, think, wasn't able to do it. Obviously, if you guys don't know if it's lagging for you guys, it actually footage did go through, but it lagged, so I can't show you the footage, sadly. That's the annoying part. Anyway, but we did get in. Uh, but we had a score head just to get back into the game. And we did her in amazingly uh, there. The annoying is obviously sudden death now. And obviously there, um, Juve kind of fumbled it there. Uh, gave it a chance there. But so did Korea. Korea fumbled it even worse. I thought it was bad than what they did. And obviously still we stopped their chance here. And obviously here Lodi with the chance to win us the game. Here it does. And we win the semi-final here in penalties. Not gonna lie, I feel like we just about won it. I ain't gonna tell my to win it. Because in my head I'm like, wait. My players are going to be knackered for the final. That was my main concern. But anyway, with the funds that we got from SWAT, I decided to buy a player that I've always loved and appreciated in this game. It's Dakar. If you don't know, from a West, uh, West Brom, sorry, Bournemouth, uh, Bournemouth commissary uh, in FIFA 20, I bought him then and he was an amazing, phenomenal player. And so I thought I'd bring him on this time as well. And um, yeah, we'll see how he does. He's a great player. If you guys want someone who's OP in this game, trust me, Dakar is your man. He's got amazing pace, amazing finishing, great, great player. And dribbling as well. Phenomenal. So we got him on the team, we signed him up, and yeah, that's it. So I decided to use him in the final, people, because uh, Costa was knackered, not gonna lie, Costa was tired. So I said, I was like, you know what, i got to bring him on, I have no other choice here. That's what we did. Obviously, as I said, I was really concerned about how we were going to combat, like, the fitness issue here. So obviously, I did change the thing there quickly, I made it so that it wasn't constant pressure, changed that quickly, uh, because that was never going to work, because the UV game destroyed us. Uh, I don't know how we won it. We won it through luck, I would say. Luck, really. Uh, but, I mean, this time we're going as Milan. He beat, he defeated, I think it's 4 2, not wrong. 4 2. So I, I, I knew that we have to play a bit more smart here than we did against um, Juve. Because Juve, I feel like we went in just with full energy and somehow it worked out for us. Because it depends. But obviously, for Milan, we knew they beat us. They defeated us, sorry. Uh, 4 2. So we knew that we a team as it is wasn't good enough. Because I struggled against this team. This team, this team was bringing up madnesses, uh, if you guys remember from last episode. So, yeah, so obviously I was trying my best here to uh, play in a way that we would not concede goals, that makes sense. But obviously, we were able to score goals. But obviously, my main aim was to kind of abuse Dakar Because Dakar has the. Because I play counter attack, Dakar, you having his pace is just amazing. He just makes those runs, which is phenomenal, as you can see here. Straight away, three minutes in, and <laughs> we're winning. Three minutes in because of Dakar. The, the runs he makes is phenomenal. You guys, I ain't gonna lie to you, you should get Dakar. Amazing player, he's phenomenal, has a good finishing as well as you guys see, look, like, that's it, we're 2-0 up, 11 minutes in, that's crazy, and obviously, first of all, again guys, I do apologise for the lag, the lag is really, really bad, um, for this version of C, it's not, I don't know why it does that, it's my PC, so I'm able to process that thing, that's what it is, but yeah, obviously, again here, my players are still tidy, you guys can tell, look, Felipe is already in to thing zone, but I don't know what to do there, it's not going to do that, really, everyone's tired, obviously here, Korea, they're passing the ball to Dakar. The Dakar's still trying to get his hat trick here. We, my, my aim was just to win. And for a night right now, we were doing phenomenally. And Dakar had a hope of getting a hat trick. So that's my aim here, if you guys could see. Because obviously, he's the only one that had a lot of fitness on him. And obviously, that was the aim. And obviously, he did get the hat trick in the end, which is phenomenal. My guy's got a debut game for a big team like Juve, and he gets a hat trick against a team like Milan. Crazy. And obviously, here, uh, with second half, we're still attacking, as you can see. Milan still haven't scored yet. We're still dominating. But. I'm starting to think about okay my fitness here, but because the opportunities come across, you just you forget about it to be honest, and you just keep on going. And I mean that's what it is. And luckily we've been rewarded for it as well by getting the goals. And obviously you can see my defense is knackered though. And my defense is really really knackered. But our black is stopping the chances, that allowing us to actually have a chance of um, keeping our lead of four 0 Obviously, but here you can see here, Felipe does well there, but the ball still ends up to the Milan player and giving him an opportunity to score, which he does. Um, which obviously I can't be like our black to save every single one, can I? Um, he did his best here. Um, obviously after that guard, he had to make it, obviously many changes because as it fitness was very very low for the team, so we had to make the changes here. But from here, I just knew that we were going to win, guys. There's no, like, there's, I doubt they were able to score three goals in the next five plus minutes, whatever. Which not going to happen. Obviously Herrera as well coming on to make it even the gap even more, making it a four goal gap instead of three. And obviously as you can see here. And not much time left, and they needed actually got a goal in, but luckily the crossbar saved us here, and obviously I'm like there stopping the rebound. And with that, guys, he won the game, five-one people. 
An amazing final from what we played against it was it 4 2 in the uh, table that make the point now we call it the group stages and um, to come out winning them winning against them in the final 5 1 was massive it was a massive massive win and it was a, a thing that kind of helped me with the whole uh, the mindset of the series as well because like obviously by winning the, the prison tournament the morale is better for the team and I feel more confident as well with the team as I feel like I've got an, I've got an idea how to play with this team now and having that kind of team as well, phenomenal striker. Uh, because obviously my player style is very counter-attack, which is what I love to do. So counter-attack is my play style, that's what I try and do. But anyway, with that, we won the Peace and Tournament people. And that is the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, peace, people.